It's a little dark. But we at the bait shop. We at the bait shop. We getting some minnows. We about to go hit that lake. So we got two dozen crappie minters, so that's good. Um, where I'm going, they have a gate there that stays locked, they close it up at night. And they used to open it around 7.30 in the morning, but it'd be kind of hit or miss. I mean, they'd come and open it when they felt like it. Um, just talking to the bait folks, they just said that, yeah, they're, they're not opening that gate till eight o'clock now, and it still might not be right at eight o'clock. So, Back in the day, we would just park by that gate and lug our stuff back there, which is a little bit of a walk. But with my jacked up back right now, I'm probably just going to park and wait for them to open it, which stinks because it's getting daylight out and I'd like to be fishing already. And it's only 7 o'clock in the morning, so that means I got at least an hour wait for them to open that gate. So, but we'll see. Hopefully, we get some fishes. This hill country area here, has, especially around this lake, has a super population of deer. You see deer up here all the time, but they're really small deer. Even, you know, a mature buck with a nice rack is still, body-wise, is a real small deer compared to South Texas or, of course, compared to the, compared to the deer up like, oh my God, we're going fishing. Now, everything else is kind of falling into place for me here. Now what needs to fall into place for me is fish. Being in that body of water, right by the pier, down here. Got the place to ourselves for now. That's awesome. Simplest form of fishing. I got a split shot, a minnow hook, a minnow. I'm going to drop it straight down and see if we can find some crappie. Got two rod, rods ready to go. So let's see what happens with the first one. We got a real light split shot on this one. A little bit heavier one on that one just to see what the deal is. That's no, that's not the one I'm doing that. That's something chewing on it. Unfortunately, what'll happen is the bluegill will come up here. Ah, got something. Bluegill will come up here and eat the eyes out of your bait and kill your minnows. And then minnows are far less successful then. Alright, so first crappie of the day, folks. There you go. No skunk today. First crappie of the day. He's a little one though. He goes back. Here in uh, Texas, the size limit is uh, 10 inches. They gotta be at least 10 inches. So I get a quick picture to send to my fishing buddy so he'll be jealous since he didn't just decide not to come with me. There we go. And we're gonna turn this dude right back to the water. go buddy thanks for playing I was pulling up this rod to, to refresh the bait thinking he's dead by now and actually I got something on there that's a little oh, 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 oh look what we got look what we got boom that's a slab for this area all right let me get them over here so I don't lose them gotta measure them make sure he's at least 10 inches okay got a little measuring place over here what do you know about that? First keeper, look. So there you go, folks. Wash.
here's my last uh, video for the trout video. I talked about how I was jinxed, cursed, and hadn't caught a keeper fish this year. Boom, first keeper fish of the, the year, not of the day. Boom. Oh, that felt so good. That felt good, boys and girls. It's just a little crappie. He was uh, he was 11 inches, so it got to be 10 inches to be a keeper. I told you I'm going to keep some today. I usually that might be one of the first crappie I've ever kept fishing. 99% uh, of my freshwater fishing is just catching these. But I want to cook up some crappie today. That was the goal to get a couple. I want at least three if I can. Got one. Pay it up and get another. Oh, it's a white. with the boat and troll for them but it's so popular now that river gets so crowded I just kind of gave up on doing that this year <laughs> <laughs> why is that huh <laughs> so how long you think he is how long you think he is yeah, I'm thinking 13. 13. Let me go over there and put them on the scale and see real quick. Started in that thing. I'm telling you. That's a nice one. That's a slab, man. Yeah, yeah that's one of the best crappie I've caught out here in a long time. it today ended up with three keepers got two crappie and a white bass so I can't complain about that but it's gotten real crowded if you look down there got here it was just me <laughs> now there's tons of people down there so I'm don't like crowds just don't like crowds so all right well we're back at the house after catching them fish and uh, usually crappie and fish like that I like to fry but you see my last couple uh, videos keep an eye on the dog um, when we were down at the coast and we did a catch and cook it was a uh, grill so I'm gonna do that again today so here's what we got there's the fish all right and I'm about to add some chupacabra rub salt pepper and butter the beers for me Alright, and we'll just close it up in that full pack and throw it on the grill. Alright, so it's easy. <clears throat> now these are crappie or mild fish. So I got two crappie and I got one uh, white bass, which is a good eating fish. Not quite as good as, I like pepper by the way, not quite as good as crappie. Alright, so salt, pepper, chupacabra rub, butter, all on one side just because it's a mild enough fish that you don't need to over flavor it with the spices. All right. Not a lot of salt. And add the chupacabra rub on there. This is their Cajun. It's my favorite. Focusing. That's a local one. I think it's here in, in Texas. Two gringos, chupacabra rub, delicious stuff. All right, 
add the butter. This doesn't have to necessarily be on each little piece of fish because we're going to kind of seal this up. It's going to be bunched up so the fish are going to be all up on each other. So don't have to worry about getting that perfect. All right. Next step is get that field gr grill fired up, right? And then we're going to close this up and throw it on there. So when we get to that point, we'll be right back. All right, it's time to take a peek. There it is, sitting on the grill. Let's get a peek, see what looks like inside there. Trying to work the camera and uh, do this. Oh, oh Lord. Wow, that's real close. Oh yeah, that's real, real close. A couple more minutes. That's coming off. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, gonna be a good dinner. All right, saw it there. It looks delicious, don't it? So, I'm gonna have some of that and a cucumber salad. Next scene dinner table on the plate. Peace out. All right, we're at the table. Can't get everything in the picture, but I'll give you an idea what we got going on here fish, fresh cucumber salad. Yeah, most of those white bones out, but once in a while you leave one in there. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. I'm not sure I would say it's better than fried, because I love fried fish. Um, but, mmm. It's the first time I made that cucumber salad, too. That's really good, too. Um, yeah, the fish is good. Maybe it is as good as fried. Might be. Well, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. You don't have to watch all of that. But, do me a favor. If you're new here to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, right? Um, then there's a little bell down there, notification button. Hit that one. Anytime I upload a new video, you get it, right? You get a notification that's been uploaded. Um, give me that thumbs up down below. Got any comments about the video? You love crappie fishing, you hate crappie fishing, you love to eat fish, whatever. Go ahead and make comments down below. I reply to almost all of them. I at least acknowledge all of them, right? Um, if you want to keep up with me on our other social links, they'll be down in the description below, right? Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that stuff, okay? Um, if you really like what you see, you want to become a part of the team and help this channel grow, uh, check out my Patreon link down below. I've got two Patreons now who I need to thank, and that's Kayla and Mike. You two are awesome. I appreciate you being on board with us, and I appreciate you guys supporting us like you do. All right? And for all my other subscribers, I appreciate you guys. I love that you watch the videos. Um, typically Monday nights at 4.30 Central Time, I do a live feed where we just chat, pick up some new friends, and that kind of stuff. So. If you're available, Monday nights, 4.30 Central Time, check us out. All right, folks, that's going to do it for now. I got to get back to eating. Peace out.